What's good, fam? Welcome to Backpacking with Buckley. Today we're at the Sage Creek Loop in beautiful Badlands National Park. Rob and I are going to attempt to do a 22 mile loop in an overnight, uh, starting with a minimum of a 15 mile day. We're both uh, questionably out of shape, so it's a big hike for our first one of the year. Uh, won't ramble on any longer than that. Let's go have a little fun. I'm in good spirits today. I plan to keep it that way, thanks to my buddy Rob. <sighs> oh, the great outdoors! Do you live here? Uh, here and there and everywhere. <laughs> Rob, we're backpacking. We're no sleds. No sleds. No sleds. No snow, no ice. Badlands today, folks. Fill you in on more once we get further down the trail. Rob and I are, uh, as you may know, frequent hammock campers. But on today's trip, we're left with no choice but the tent. Leaving me with my big Agnes, which I chose to bring just because it's the most simple and luxurious. But that results in probably, I don't know, 22 pounds on my back, which is heavy for my old ass. And uh, we're also carrying a lot of water because we're doing 22 miles with no water source out here. So that's probably notable. But yeah, carrying on down the trail. Only 14 plus miles to go today. Ooh, there's those mule deer. See some mule deer. So I think we've done about four miles an hour in the first half mile here. What'd you say, Rob? Where's lunch? <laughs> My feet hurt. My face is cold. <laughs> this is bullshit. This is garbage. Oh, trail's over here. So this is an unmarked trail, leaving us to uh, our own dim-witted uh, fate. But we have uh, the tools digitally. Uh, if we do happen to get lost out in the middle of nowhere, 15 miles, I think we can figure out what direction to go to hit a road. So I don't want to promote irresponsible behavior. But yeah. Maybe three quarters of a mile in, we're ready for lunch. Catch you after our break. So out there are about 300 yards, our three bison laying there. Advice is to stay 50 yards away. And we're a lot farther away from that. Oh, one of them did get up though. I'll zoom in on them for you. We are coming up on Deer Haven and we need to find a way to scramble to the top of that and from the top of this formation is no man's land to me and to Rob. So from that point on, ooh, big buffalo poop. From that point on, we will be uh, in unknown territory. <laughs> I'm breathing heavy, but this is a uh, the epitome of Deer Haven. And as stated before, now that I got a little deeper look, I've been up here before, but didn't really walk around. I'm coming up here to the hammock someday, because you can make it work better than I thought you could. Yeah, this is one of the few 
tree lined areas in the Badlands. And it's really cool. It's just out in the middle of nowhere. But we gotta climb to the top of that somehow. And right now we're on a pretty obvious trail, so hopefully it takes us to where we need to be. To the climax. climax. So we're up and over Deer Haven. I'd say for Rob and Buckley, it was, it was, I mean, it was a little sketch, but not too bad. Nothing we couldn't handle. I don't know if like any kind of like, I don't know if Midwest backpacker could. Yeah, or Miyagi. Yeah. Not All right, about four miles down, we're going to try to do between 15 and 17 today so that we can make it back to the car. And the hiking from here on out should be relatively easy. The hard part might be navigating through some of these canyons and things. Uh, there is no trail. We just have the All Trails app. And... Uh, Sometimes there's obvious areas where you need to walk. <laughs> but that's part of the adventure. It's part of why I've always wanted to do it. It's uh, as rugged as it gets. For example, it was 25 degrees when we woke up this morning, actually like 22. And right now, I have my hood up so I don't get sunburnt. I would guess it's in the mid to high 60s. And out here, temps are amplified because of the white clay reflecting it back at you. So right now it's borderline hot. And we're coming to a place, which might be a good example of what I'm talking about, where we got to check the map to see where we go from here, because there is no indication of a trail. So we'll be checking the map. Yeah. All right, nothing's more like the spirit adventurer than a hole or a tunnel. We can see our way through this, so we're gonna crawl through. Uh, being conscientious of rattlesnakes now that Rob has made me paranoid. Woohoo! Camp here tonight, Rob. Huh. Let's see what comes out on the other side. I was just waiting to film you coming out of the hole. Uh. All right, so we're running into a lot of uh, navigational issues, but here's an instance of the least sketchy of all the sketchy options. I just came down it, but we're gonna get Rob on film coming down this real loose rock face. Use that rock to your left or that, get a foot on that maybe. tucked out of the wind here a little bit right up above us are a couple of bison so uh, we'll see who runs faster here in a minute freaking killer the wind is the biggest problem probably all trails listed this as difficult and we kind of laughed it off it's a difficult hike yeah it's very difficult it's only 800 feet of elevation gain we're gonna share a rock star to get us to camp rob gets seven and a half ounces i get eight and a half cheers Jeez, buddy.
So it's a beautiful time of evening. About an hour before sunset. We are on mile 14. So it's been a hell of a long day. And again, a lot of it's just because of uh, navigational issues. You gotta watch out for caverns and things like that. So yeah, getting closer to camp. Beautiful evening. Wind's dying down just a little bit. I'm having a pretty good time right now because it's really beautiful out here. Got down with a 15 hour day and I just went for a quick jog. Now I'm gonna grab some supper. Probably hit the hay. It's been a long day. It's about 8 p.m. here and we are uh, getting into the tents. I'm not really necessarily tired, but we're both real sick of being in the wind today. We got 15 miles in, seven to go. Uh, get up in the morning and finish this uh, loop out and check it off the bucket list. Uh, but today was a uh, Humdinger. It really kicked our butts. Pretty tired. Uh, hopefully I can fall asleep, but this wind is just howling. Um, so we'll, I guess that's it. We'll see y'all in the morning. Good morning from the Badlands. It got down to Frickin' 19 degrees last night. Rob and I had no idea it was gonna get that cold, but we both survived relatively warm. Always bring warmer gear than you think you need. At least we got that right. But uh, we're gonna pack up quick this morning. We got seven miles to do. I'll show you the sunrise. Maybe. Ooh. So yeah, we're freezing our butts off, we're low on battery, and we're low on water. So there might not be a lot of entertaining filming today, but we'll get there and show you some of the cool things along the way. Death inspires me like a dog, inspires a rabbit. Death inspires me like a dog, inspires a rabbit. I don't know if the camera will do it justice, but we're... Heading down into the basin here, and the trail leads us to what looks like a pretty gnarly descent. Hopefully it's not too loose. But yeah, we're going down into this plains. Let's go, Rob. I guess. Oh, it's not bad. It just looks bad. Oh, buffs dude right here. And we got buffalo on the trail. Stands right in the way of us and our trail and between he and where we need to go not a single tree not a single nothing <laughs> so they're usually docile often they'll run from you just like any other wild animal but this might be interesting so make for good video for you folks ready ruddy i just called you ruddy it's a combination of rob and buddy ready He's a nice boy. He's not going to hurt us. He's just looking at us like he doesn't care at all. So no worries. All right. Rob, thanks for helping me check the bucket list off. 22.8 miles in an overnight. Rugged ass miles too. So bucket list checked. Sage Creek Loop. All right. We made it back to the cars. Rockstar time. Uh, glad to check that off my bucket list, but it was a doozy. I want to thank Rob for joining me because I don't think I would have made it on my own. And uh, more importantly, he brought me a lot of comfort and good advice. And 
he's gotten me through a lot of these hard times just just by himself so thanks to rob for that uh what's next for me the god's honest truth i don't know right now um that both excites me and petrifies me but uh i'm gonna get in the car and i'm gonna head back east towards my old hometown and i might end up at my mom's for the weekend i might end up at a campground i have no idea so we'll see what's next and i'll keep you posted as always but without further ado thanks for joining us be yourselves be freaking happy catch you on the next adventure everybody Go ahead.